Well, in the last video, we discussed about electric field lines and the properties of electric field lines. Now in this video, we discuss about electric flux. So flux on over the now. Now bear bear contextual kind English matter. Flux means one that's very gonna rush and the loop close. At why no that's very concentration and the loop close. At why no that's very measure and the loop close. Now in all these contexts, what this electric flux means. Now let me take, for example, an electric field. So this is how you represent a uniform electric field. And I shall now consider A certain surface in the electric field. Now here through this surface, this surface will be yes to electric field lines. Surface the normal or cross matter normal. Normal is not that you use in English. Normal on the end, perpendicular to the surface. If you count, now there are four in number. One, two, three, four. So these field lines that cross the given surface in the electric field normal to the surface will be called as electric flux. In the electric flux for E case. So flux will be represented by electric flux will be represented by phi E. So here Flux electric, so electric flux is 4 in this case, E case and E to 4. Now let me take another example. This is example 1 and example 2. Now let me here consider the electric field like this, which is also uniform. Naturally, E electric field do the E electric field. So, previous case he compared matter, right? The electric field is strong. So, now properties of electric field lines. Field lines are crowded in the region of higher electric intensity. So, electric intensity in this case is less. Comparatively, electric intensity in case 2 is more. Now in the electric field due to the second, I consider the same area or same surface, say as in first case. Now we watch here, here we count the number of field lines that are perpendicular to this surface. So now this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So field line 6 I thought. So flux here is 6. So from this example, 
I came to know, or I can understand that if the intensity of electric field is more, then the flux will increase. So flux is dependent, or flux to the given surface is dependent on the electric field. So that I will make a note here. Electric flux increases with the increase in the intensity of field. So, yes, this is a statement that you need to remember. The example what they were Now, if I increase the here, let us see what happens. So, let me take electric field as in case 1. In case 1, the number of field lines that were crossing the given surface were only 4. Now, I will increase the surface area EST area I will increase it increase the surface area so call it A to this as A1 now here we will count the number of field lines that are normal to the surface area A2 so now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So the flux in this case is 7. Now why did the flux increase? Naturally, if I increase the surface area in the electric field through which the electric field lines are crossing, you get more count. So for that, I will make another statement. So what is the statement? What is the statement that I make? Electric flux, electric flux increases with the increase. in the surface area through which the flux is considered so you can understand so how about that we understood that I mean we can that Electric flux on any of the good types. Electric flux is the number of field lines through the given surface in the electric field which are normal to the surface. We came to know that electric flux increases with the increase in the intensity of field. E example. Electric flux increases with the increase in the surface area through which the flux is considered. This example. Now let me take another example. In an example, tomorrow. Now let me take an area like this. This is the area, and the field lines are lines. Now if I count the number of field lines that are normal to this surface, E surface can normal value of field lines means perpendicular to this area. If I count them, it counts to be zero. There are no field lines which are normal to this. Of course there are field lines, but there are no field lines which are normal. 
normal agirodu perpendicular agirodu ilve illa so now what to do you all know that electric intensity is a vector quantity now i will draw two mutual perpendicular lines at some point on this so i will draw mutual perpendicular lines like this this or two mutual perpendicular lines intersecting like this i shall call this angle as theta this angle will also be theta this all are angles theta i will resolve this component e into e cos theta along the horizontal and e sin theta along the vertical i will not write the vertical component here so e cos theta e cos theta e cos theta e cos theta like this i will compare now are there field lines that are crossing normal yes there are which is the component e cos theta now i think on this 1 2 3 4 5 6 means normal agir par bagir if this coincides with this if this line coincides with this or in the direction of e coincides with the normal to this surface then theta will be 0 cos theta will be 1 now this holds good electric flux increases with the increase in the intensity of the field suppose if the area is like this not normal to the field lines then field lines crossing normal to the surface of the is the cosine component of this e even the perpendicular angle is like that have a idu flux it tagobe na idu tagolodala ಏನೇ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ನಾನು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ಕರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ನೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೊಸೈನ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ cosine component of the intensity of electric field okay so now this is very clear so this is clear for you now you understood what is electric flux electric flux is the number of field lines through the given surface in the electric field which are normal to the surface from the examples that i gave you you understood that electric flux increases with the increase in the cosine component of the intensity of electric field and if you increase the area of the surface to which you consider the flux even then the electric flux increases so i can write electric flux is dependent on the cosine component that is electric flux or electric flux will be represented by phi e right cosine component of electric field and and also it depends on the area here so area here okay yeah. so this is the expression for electric flux to the given area a in the electric field 
what is theta here? Theta is theta is the angle between so you know the algorithm angle direction of intensity and the normal to the surface angle between the direction of the intensity and the normal to the surface so is it clear it is very clear that electric flux is a e cos theta where a is the area of the surface through which the flux is considered e is the intensity at the given point on the area and theta as written here is the angle between the direction of intensity and the normal to the surface and as far as vectors are concerned vector product the electron vector is the electron product the dot product and the cross product so dot product and here the a vector dot b vector is the magnitude of vector a is the magnitude of vector b into cosine of the angle between the vectors a so here vector is there vector a vector b and if theta is the angle between these vectors then a dot product is defined by this cross product is magnitude of vector a magnitude of vector b into sine of the angle between vectors a and b and a unit vector in the direction of a and b a cross b now this is also called a dot b is also called the scalar product second of scalar scalar product so work is the scalar product of the force acting on a body and the displacement of the body scalar product so scalar and the scalar is so this flux a e cos theta is of this form so i can write this as a vector dot e vector so a vector dot e vector is the flux and a vector dot e vector can be expanded as a e cos theta so it is and from this we understand that Electric flux is not a scale, vector quantity; it is a scalar quantity in the Gutenberg method. And flux is unit in unit of electric flux. A is the area through which you are recognizing the flux. So area T, area T. So area T, just say unit in Gutenberg method, meter square, meter square. E electric intensity, so electric intensity unit is on. Here, you know, problems are not meant to be there. Newton per coulomb because it is a force per unit. So Newton meter square per coulomb. We will combine them. So unit is Newton meter square per coulomb. So this is about electric flux. So define electric flux means. Electric flux is the number of field lines through the given surface in the electric field. So this is flux, and the factors on which the flux depends. The formula for electric flux. You understand why you arrive at this formula. The SI unit. Note that electric flux is a scalar quantity. It is a scalar product of here you have the surface and the electric intensity at any point on the surface that you consider